morning friends we are to the end of the chapter we are discussing here about the one, one more rechargeable battery that is lithium ion battery we are at the end of the chapter almost module 1 uh, second chapter okay so let us discuss about the construction and working of a lithium ion battery in this chapter okay so lithium ion battery like you know you should have seen right you know like in uh, modern uh, like uh, mobiles uh, laptops and all like what and all you expect nowadays uh, the ma the mobile or uh, the laptop should be light in weight right okay you will be getting the lightweight mobiles uh, or uh, the laptops because the battery used in it will be most probably the lithium ion batteries okay lithium metal is a uh, light in weight lithium metal is a uh, light in weight uh, so obviously finally the you know whichever the uh, things uh, electronic things which is uh, made by using the uh, uh, lithium ion batteries will be light in weight okay so here a lithium rechargeable battery which consists of a intercalated or spiral structure with layers here important thing to remember is intercalation you should remember intercalation in the graphite structure what is the meaning like graphite is having a layered structure right layered structure here very simple mechanism during the discharging process lithium ions are oxidized to lithium is oxidized to lithium ions that lithium ions will be entering into the intercalation of the graphite once when you are recharging what will happen lithium ions will be coming back from the graphite structure and will be going back to the anodic centers okay that is the key point you have to remember here the lithium ions will be entering into the intercalation of the graphite during discharging during recharging the lithium ions will be coming out and going back to the anodic plus during recharging clear anode consists of a lithium cobalt oxide and cathode is a graphite here and uh, you know here uh, uh, yeah organic ion separator separates a uh, anode and cathode so uh, and it serves as a medium for electrolyte it also incorporates a variety of separate protection systems uh, such as a gas discharge valve uh, which help prevent a battery from exploding by releasing the internal gas pressure uh, if it exceeds the design limit uh, okay safety ventilation is there here and here in the case of the lithium batteries important thing is we cannot use any aqueous electrolytes okay we cannot use any aqueous electrolytes in the case of lithium batteries dear friends why what is the answer for it you know right you should have seen sodium right in your laboratories in previous classes okay have you seen the reactivity of sodium you should have played also with it right hmm? like if you put the sodium in a uh, uh, you know with water or outside what will happen it will be generally stored in kerosene right all time it will be stored in kerosene if it is taken out no, it will be highly reactive with the water as well as air okay so only it will be stored always in a kerosene okay in the same way lithium is more reactive compared to sodium lithium is still more reactive okay so as it is highly reactive with the air and water you cannot use any aqueous electrolytes here in the case of lithium batteries then what is the electrolyte used here electrolyte is any lithium halide in an organic solvent will be serving here as a electrolyte lithium halide in the sense see here lithium lipf4 lipf6 and li clo4 what is this what is this li lipf4 is a tetrafluorolithium phosphate hexafluorolithium phosphate lithium perchlorate okay like that lithium halides in any organic solvent like ethyl carbonate or dimethyl carbonate is used as a electrolyte clear a friends anode is lico2 that is lithium cobalt oxide Gra cathode is a graphite and a electrolyte is a any of the lithium halide in an organic solvent serves as a electrolyte here next working during discharging process lithium ions come out from lithium cobalt oxide and enter enters into the intercalation structure of graphite during recharging lithium ions from graphite enters back into the lico2 already I said this right okay what happens during discharging the lithium ions will be coming out from lithium cobalt oxide to go to the uh, intercalation structure of graphite and during the dish recharging it will be just coming out from the intercalation of the graphite structure
this is the diagram of the lithium ion battery see you can see the layered structure no the layered structure is there inside that layer the lithium ions will go and sit there okay intercalation the layer like structures are there inside that layers that is called as intercalation the layer like structure is called as intercalation there the ions will be going and settling and will be coming back out from there okay this is the diagram of the a typical diagram of the lithium ion battery okay anode is lico2 cathode is the graphite here in between see a separator is there and that is a medium for electrolyte and you have to show the movement of the lithium ions into the intercalation okay uh, while uh, discharging and while recharging you have to show the coming out of the uh, lithium ions from the intercalation structure the cell reactions here are see my dear friends even this is a rechargeable battery you know very well so you must write a double arrows forward reaction you have to write with the discharging and backward reaction recharging i had written for one equation only you have to write for all the three in your exams okay if you write only three i am repeating once again if you write only three you know like uh, there will be like uh, three more expect three more reactions will be expected from you otherwise you will be getting only half marks if you won't write the double arrows okay and you have to mark discharging and recharging see in the first step what happens at anode lithium cobalt oxide is getting converted into li y one minus x co2 with the liberation of lithium ions and electrons and in the second step lithium ions and electrons are accepted by graphite to form a crystal lattice structure of a graphite okay and the overall reaction is when lithium cobalt oxide reacts with the graphite okay it will be forming a li one minus x co2 with the uh, crystal lattice structure of the lithium clear and the next is uh, the advantages uh, here of the here the advantages of the battery are high energy densities high voltage will be given and uh, flat discharge voltage uh, no memory effect uh, the functions of the safety circuits uh, long shelf life uh, simple storage uh, and transportation and environmentally friendly these are all the advantages of the battery and coming to the disadvantages limited surface life limited discharge current and high self discharge and high maintenance are the disadvantages here and you know you should know one more thing my dear friends usually most oftenly with this question like you know the question asked here will be describe the construction and working of a lithium ion batteries okay they will be asking one sub question also uh, like why the aqueous electrolytes should not be used in a lithium ion batteries for that i told the answer already okay one more thing will be asked usually you know like why lithium is used as a why lithium is used as a anodic material in many primary and secondary lithium batteries okay why uh, lithium is used as a anodic material in many of the primary and secondary lithium batteries the answer is a lithium is light in weight lithium is a light in weight and you know no in the electrochemical series you have seen right the what is the reduction potential of lithium minus 3.02 got it minus 3.02 as it's having very low reduction potential it will be undergoing oxidation easily it will undergo oxidation easily that is one of the properties no dear friends anodic material should undergo oxidation easily okay so it undergoes oxidation very easily okay and it is having a higher electrochemical equivalence okay higher electrochemical equivalence because of these properties lithium is used as a anodic material in many of the primary and secondary lithium batteries which are they once again lithium is light in weight it is having a very low reduction potential minus 3.02 that means it will undergo oxidation very easily and it is having a higher electrochemical equivalence because of these properties lithium is used as a anodic material in many of the primary and secondary lithium batteries clear and at last we have come to the applications of this battery where and all the applications of this battery it is used in a cellular phones or computers or, and it is used in a laptops or, and all types of dvd players or, lcd tvs or, notepads or, okay and in uh, semiconductor driven audios or, portable electric vehicles or, generally telling in all consumer electronic devices the lithium ion batteries are used okay 
so with this the last topic of the module 1 battery technology is over dear friends okay and meet you shor shortly with a short break okay with a new content with a new chapter until then take care of you bye